Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Empress Queen Tay from Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle. And Miss Nicole from Spiritual Guidance Academy has given me the privilege to do a 12 video series Tarot and Oracle. Okay, so I am very excited, very just honored that she would allow me to do such a thing here on her channel. Okay. So please, you guys, go ahead on and hit a like button for me right now just because off of that right there. That's beautiful. That's big for me as I am a new channel. I'm just starting out. Okay. So with this energy here, you guys, you know, tarot is fluid. Okay. Take what is for you. Leave what is not. Okay. These messages are timeless. So they're meant to reach you whenever they are meant to reach you. Okay, spirits having to highlight, take what is for you, leave what is not, okay? So with that being said, let's jump into this reading. I'm going to start it off with the Keepers of the Light Oracle deck, okay? And we're going to see what transformation is coming in for you, what guidance is coming in for you, okay? Who is protecting you right about now, okay? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energies. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. Allow me to tap into the collective's energy. Divine Holy Spirit is coming out of the collective that I may be connecting with either now or at a later date. Thank you. Okay, Spirit wants me to concentrate on this one right here. And it is ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Okay, and I'm getting that emperor energy off of this right here. Okay, very focused, very determined. Okay, moving into your true self, being very like strong, that strong emperor energy, knowing what you want, rising above anything that is holding you back at this time, being the light I'm hearing as well. Bottom of the deck, inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. Okay. So, I'm going to go in with the Soul's Journey deck and see what Soul Lesson is coming out for the collective, which you may be, need to be aware of right now, okay, which you may be facing right now, which you may need to pay attention to at this moment. Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit, this is for the collective that I'm resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energy. Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. Divine Holy Spirit is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with. Thank you. And we have discipline. I can't accomplish what I set my mind to. Okay. So as you're ascending, discipline is coming in. Okay. Do you need to have discipline in your life or do you already have it? Because you're accomplishing what you set your mind to. Okay, as you move towards your true self, you're being disciplined in something or you're asked to be disciplined in something. Okay, a lot of crown shots are coming through as well. Back of the deck energy, we have success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Okay, loving what you do, loving who you are, loving the direction that you're moving into, loving your true self. That is true success. Okay, and I feel like success is coming in, period. Okay, and I feel like that's in all areas for the collective that I'm reading for, okay? So we're going to go in and we're going to get an affirmation. Okay, archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What affirmation do you have for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. With affirmation. What affirmation do you have for the collective? What 
is the affirmation divine holy spirit for the collective what is the affirmation for the collective divine holy spirit thank you okay and you guys got two and we have, I am open and receptive to new avenues of income. I now receive my good from expected and unexpected sources. I am an unlimited being expecting from an unlimited source. In an unlimited way, I am blessed beyond my fondest dreams. Okay, phone calls letters in the newspaper knocks at your door okay just things where did this come from okay a lot of emails okay i feel like there is money coming in from everywhere that's going to be coming in for you guys as you move into this new phase as you become disciplined in whatever it is that you're tapping into here Streams of income, just blessings are going to flow to you. That's what this card is all about. This card is all about blessings flowing towards you. Okay. And we have, I now create a wonderful new job. I now create a wonderful new job. I am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position using my creative talents and abilities, working for a Working for and with people I love in a wonderful location and earning and earning good money. Boo, what I said, this is all about abundance before I even looked at that card. As you move into your true self and you rise above and you become the light and you do whatever it is you have your heart set out to do, your discipline, your mind is dis disciplined, excuse me. You draw in all kinds of revenue and success and abundance. These Both of these cards are very green. So a lot of you guys, there's a lot of abundance coming to you and you know this. It's something that you're creating. It's something that you're doing. Okay, for some of you, it's a new job, like the card said. For some of you, you're doing something creative. Okay, you are a very creative person. So now we're going to move in. With the angels and ancestors oracle deck, okay. And we're gonna see what's coming out. Okay, this is gonna be a six-card spread, okay. And then we're gonna go in with some sterile on top of that, and then we're gonna end with an angel oracle message, okay. Our angels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into the energies, archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. Divine, Holy Spirit, what energy is the collective I'm reading for in? Divine, Holy Spirit, what energy is the collective I'm reading for in? Thank you. And you have Traitor and you have Shaolin Master. Be graceful in movement and action and exchange energy to create abundance. Um, this is all about your abundance that's coming in. Okay, it is something that you are doing. It's something that you're mastering right now. It's something that you're moving in a silence for some of you. Okay, you're moving. And for some of you, it's some people, it may seem like you're not moving at all, but you know exactly what you're doing. You're not, you're not being, you're not telling anyone exactly what it is that you're doing. You know, you're leading on to things with just a graceful way that you're going about communicating what it is that you're doing without communicating too much. Okay. And anything that is negative, I feel like you're exchanging that energy for positive right now. This is the energy that I feel like the collective that I'm reading for is in, especially with this ascension right here. Divine Holy Spirit, what is grounding the collective right now? Thank you. And we have fire guarding, ignite your passions. Okay. Your passions are be is, is being ignited right now. 
okay, what you love to do, who you are, okay? And we also have trust and thrive, okay? So you're trusting and you're believing, you're having discipline, and you're going to thrive in it, okay? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the goal? What is the overall goal for the collective? The overall goal is to shed this old skin. And move into a new and better you, I'm feeling. Okay? If, if not, yeah, a more abundant you is what I'm getting off of this energy as well. Divine Holy Spirit, what does the collective need to let go of? What energy is surrounding what they need to let go of? What health is surrounding what they need to let go of? The collective. We have Traveler. Move in a new direction. Okay, and take this energy and put where you may. For some of you, you're literally moving. Okay, and for some of you, I'm feeling out of country. Okay, out of out of state. I'm feeling a distance. Okay, for some of you, <clears throat> you're moving in a new direction creatively. Okay, spiritually, within yourself. Okay, and I feel like. What may be blocking you, for some of you, is not wanting to move. Wanting all this to come in and moving in that direction. Okay. But it's something in the past I'm feeling that you're moving on from. That it, it may have something there that's slowing you down. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit. Where does the collective need to direct their energy? Divine Holy Spirit, thank you. And we have warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. Okay. So you're needing to be disciplined. That's where your energy is needed to go. To be disciplined. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice for the collective that I'm needed for? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice? Thank you. And we have summer bask in joy and light and high priest intend and create. And that's the high priest coming out twice. Okay. Being very strong, being very determined. Okay. Moving in your true self. Intend and create. Okay. And for some of you, it's something that's coming in for the summer. It's something you're creating. It's something you're working on. It's some job or something like that that is literally going to be coming for you in the summer. For others of you, this is, you know, bask in that joy of what it is that you're creating, what it is that you're manifesting for yourself. Okay. Spirit is giving me, <clears throat> excuse me, Spirit is giving me act as if you already have received it. Okay. It's the advice. So we're going to go in with a three-card spread, okay, past, present, future energy. And we're going to see what's coming through. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I'm reading for, that I'm connecting with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energies, okay? Two of Cups. It's coming in the spread up in the cut a lot. Okay, for some of you guys, you're leaving a situation or you're in a new situation, you're holding on to something. Okay, you're trying to balance energies and something that you want to have victory over. Okay, for some of you guys, you're healing from this relationship. Okay, you've separated from this person or for yeah, from a lot of you, you know, two of cups on the cut. Also with the Ten of Swords, okay? You're healing from a connection or a situation that puts you through a lot mentally and physically from here. Yeah, this is definitely for some of you a lot of connection, okay? Yeah, some of you may be in regret about this connection or the person that... You were with, maybe in regret about this connection. Divine Holy Spirit, give me some energy from the past for the collective that I'm reading for. Thank you. And we have three of cups. Give me some more past energy. Eight of cups. 
Give me one more card, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you. King of Swords. Divine Holy Spirit. What's the present energy for the collective that I'm reading for? Thank you. Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Page of Swords. Divine Holy Spirit. What is the future energy? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Queen of Cups. Seven of Swords. Cherry. Divine Holy Spirit. What is the advice? What is the advice for the collective? Divine Holy Spirit. What is the advice? Okay. King of Pentacles and Three of Swords. I'm going to get one more. Ooh. Yeah, this is a breakup. For some of you guys, you're about to break up with this person. Okay. This very stubborn person. This person who is only caring about money. This person who is putting a lot of work before um, you. This person who has caused you a lot of pain. This person who is very stubborn. Very, um, uh, what's the energy here, spirit? Very, um, I'm getting egotistical. Okay, um, very cutting type person. I feel like this person very condescending, very talk down type of person. Okay, because we have the three of swords here. This person is always stepping out of the relationship. Okay, you walked away from that in the past. Okay, um, the present energy right now, I feel like you're concentrating on you. You're concentrating on your happiness, your finances with this, all this abundance that's getting ready to come in. You're very disciplined with that, but your person is wanting to come back and talk to you. Okay. Your person is sending you a message. Your person is trying to get at you. Okay. With that page of source energy there in the future, you're still focusing on you. Okay, you're focusing on loving yourself. Queen of Cups energy here as well. Okay, this person that is coming at you with this chariot energy is moving in the Seven of Swords energy. So watch out for that in the future. Okay, they're coming towards you. But I feel like you're moving in the opposite direction. Okay, but I do feel like this person is trying to get at you. Page of Swords energy. Seven of Swords energy, King of Swords energy. This person, you know, you went back with. I feel like this person would tell you something. You will go back to them. They will put you back in a third party situation. You walked away from that. You tried to build a lot emotionally with this person. You broke away from that. Started focusing on yourself, your money, your career. Okay, Ten of Cups. Invested in yourself emotionally fulfilled within your home and you have things settled or you're going to get things settled within yourself. This person is going to pop back up, but this person is dealing in no good energy. Okay. I really feel like this person is out for themselves. Okay. And if you allow this person to come back in, Spirit is giving me, it's going to be the same situation. Three of Cups with the Three of Swords. Okay. So I'm going to leave that right there. Okay. But we have, you know, a uh, spirit. I wanted to, but look, queen of swords energy at the bottom of the deck with the knight of swords energy. You want to hear what this person have to say. Okay. But you're not, you're not about to put in the work with this person. I see this is going to cause conflict and you want to stand your ground on this. Okay. Just looking at some of the bottom of the deck energy here, but you want to hear what this person have to say when they come rushing in with this seven of swords energy very cocky and confident okay that they about to pull this off and be with you okay it's the energy that i'm getting here so i'm gonna end this with an angel oracle message for you guys Archangel, ancestors father god divine holy spirit is coming through for the collective for a lot of you guys this person um, I'm not feeling like this person did not have any money, okay? For some of you, this was your husband, this was your wife, this was a person that you have a family with. I see kids here as well, okay? You may have kids with this person, okay? Divine Holy Spirit, you invested a lot in this person. Now, I feel like you're investing more so in yourself. What's the message? Thank you. And we have prayer. Dear guardian angel, help me to be flexible in my attitude and beliefs. 
Help me not to fear the transcendent nature of life. Help me to remember the eternal light which emanates from my soul and the eternal light which emanates from the heart of every living thing. Help me to remember that I am eternally guided and loved by God in all creation. Okay, because this is, I feel like, yeah, you're definitely, for some of you, you're definitely battling your worth here. Like, you know your worth, okay? But this person is trying to come in, and I feel like trying to dumb it down a little bit with the way that they're approaching you, okay, with this page of swords, the knights of swords, you know, like trying to rush in and state their peace, trying to overtalk you, okay, trying to manipulate you in some type of way, trying to get you to hurry up and rush off and invest into them. And before I go, I just want to point out that these prayers are very important. They're very special when you get one because there's only five prayers out of this deck. And you see how thick this deck is, and there's only five of these cards. Okay, so I feel like this is definitely something with this green that's over your heart. Okay, and you're need the goal is to shed this old skin of this old person. And I see you're doing that with this eight of swords energy and this cherry energy. Okay, but you are willing to hear what this person has to say. Okay, but if it don't serve you any good, I see you cutting it off. So with that being said, I love you guys. Make sure you check out my channel, Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle here on YouTube. Make sure you give Spiritual Guidance Academy a thumbs up for this video. Okay, leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about it. Okay, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so with that being said, boo, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.